In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Gen 3 Smart Cuff consumer version pump and Doppler for the lower extremity. So I'm going to find the appropriate cuff. In my case, it's the large cuff because my thigh is a little bit larger than 23 and a half inches. And I'm going to take my cuff. I'm going to make sure that the stem is facing outwards or towards you. So I'm going to turn my cuff around. I'm going to bring it up as high as I can up into the groin. I'm going to open up these little flaps. Okay, and then I'm going to just use these little flaps, open them up. And now the same thing as I did in the upper extremity, I'm going to make sure it's as tight as I can get it. And then I'm going to make sure that this is all nice and aligned, nice and tight. And then you'll see these little flaps, I just secure it down. And what that does is it prevents these cuffs under high pressure from sliding up and down. Otherwise, one of these will, they'll escape and they'll kind of scissor. So now I'm going to connect my cuff. I'm going to start exercise. I'm going to go leg. I'm going to go low pressure and I'm going to put even pressure through my feet. So that way my muscles are both contracting at the same rate. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to do recalculate because the previous one I did was for my arm. So I'm going to go recalculate it. Now, just like with the arm, it's going to take about a minute or so to calculate your limb occlusion pressure or somebody else would call it an arterial occlusion pressure, but it's the least amount of pressure necessary to fully occlude both arterial and venous blood flow into the limb. So as this is going to go, it's going to elevate to a certain pressure right around 300 millimeters of mercury, and then it's going to deflate a little bit, then it's going to reinflate, deinflate, reinflate, then it's going to go all the way down, it's going to totally deflate, and then it'll bring it back up to the point of that lowest uh, LOP or the lowest pressure that we're going to use to exercise. In this case, we did the least amount of pressure. And same thing for the upper extremity. I recommend using the lowest pressure for a week, then the medium pressure for a week, and then finally after two weeks go to the highest pressure. If the pressure ever feels too high, like it's painful to exercise beyond an 8 out of 10 on a VAS scale, then I would use the lower pressure. You can always reduce the air just by pressing on the stem if you're in the middle of the exercise routine and it's too uncomfortable. So this is finding it. I'm feeling a lot of pressure because it is trying to find your arterial occlusion pressure. And you try to stay really still. Okay, we're almost there. Now it totally deflates. Once it gets to a fully deflated state, then it's going to reinflate. Then I can uh, disconnect and now I can start my exercise or I could establish my pressure on this side as well. So that's how to utilize the generation three cuff in the lower extremity.